friends, I'm Raz and in today's video I'm going to share with you ALS Academic Report Writing Task 1 Overview and Practice. So let's begin. Alright, let's take a look at the two tasks. Task 1 is Report Writing Academic 150 to 180 words in 20 minutes. And task 2 is Essay Writing Both Academic and General 250 to 280 words in 40 minutes. So folks, in this video, I'm going to share with you task 1, Report Writing for Academic. Now let's take a look at the task assessment. Task achievement is 25% in which you need to answer everything you're asked to do in the question. The other 25% is coherence and cohesion. You use structured paragraphs and make standard expressions. The other 25% is lexical resource. You use wide range of vocabulary. And the last is grammar range and accuracy. You use a wide range of grammar structures and make sure you include different kinds of sentences ranging from simple compound and complex. Now, let's take a look at the segregation of paragraphs. Paragraph 1 is introduction. Paragraph 2 is overview or summary. Paragraph 3 is make analysis and group comparisons of different years. And paragraph 4 is make analysis and group comparisons of remaining years. Now, let's take a look at the types of the graphs that we can get in exam. And it can be anything like a pie chart, bar graph, line graph, table, flow chart. So describe facts and figures through bar graphs, describe trends through line graphs, comparison through tables and pie charts, describe a process diagram or a map, and describe a flow chart. Now, graph one is a recent exam question. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The table below shows the worldwide market share of the notebook computer market for manufacturers in the years 2006, 7, and 2014. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. So let me present an idle answer that can help you score a good band, friends. It's a comparison table. The table compares the percentages of market share by different laptop brands in three different years, 2006, 7, and 2014. A glance at the graph reveals that HP was the leading notebook manufacturer in these years. As can be seen in the table, HP had the utmost market share of laptops in 2006 and it retained the top position in 2007 and 14 as well, with around one third of the total market. Dell, however, secured the second position with a 16.6% .6 market share in 2006 and enjoyed a 10% rise in 2014. Samsung had only an 11.6% share of the laptop market in 2006, but this brand managed to capture over 14% global market share in eight years. All the top three brands of laptop manufacturing had been able to accelerate their market share except Samsung in 2007. In contrast, Toshiba and Lenovo had around 6% notebook market share in 2006, and in eight years, their market share raised slightly. Apparently, the lowest market share was possessed by Fujitsu in 2006, and after eight years, its market shares marginally declined and reached 3.1%. All other brands captured a significant market share in 2006, which was 22.8%, but only 7.11% in 2000. 2014. All right, let's move to the next graph. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The diagram below shows the typical stages of consumer goods manufacturing, including the process by which information is fed back to earlier stages to enable the adjustment. Write a report for a university lecturer describing the process shown. Write at least 150 words. All right, so here we have another eye lancer. Describe a process brochure. The 
provided flowchart illustrates the process of consumer goods produced in an orderly manner and includes various stages of production and sales together with the feedback supplied towards the earlier stages, which allows improvements and modifications throughout the process. In summary, this flowchart details the production process and the feedback provided at various stages of goods manufacturing. Firstly, the product manufacturing process is initiated with the purchase of raw materials and manufactured components which are kept in storage until the production process is planned. The production process planning stage involves product research and design. The process is carried through the stages of assembly, inspection, testing and packaging of the final product sequentially, which is then dispatched for sales to the consumers. Moreover, production planning provides feedback for storage. Likewise, sales provide feedback for both product planning and market research, which in turn provides feedback for advertising and packaging. Similarly, both market research and testing provide feedback for design. So thank you so much, friends, for watching this video and keep watching more IELTS writing videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.